Hello everyone, what we're going to be talking about today is the time constant. Now let's imagine the following circuit. We have a capacitor, we also have a switch, and this capacitor is connected in series with a resistor and a light bulb. Now how quickly will this capacitor actually discharge as soon as we switch the uh, switch on? Well, that depends on two things. The first thing that this depends on is the size of the capacitance C. This is because if we have a higher capacitance, we're going to be able to store a lot more charge. The other fact that we need to consider is the resistance R. So if we have quite a high resistance, then the capacitor is going to discharge a lot more slowly. If we combine those two quantities, we actually get this quantity, which is the time constant. And this is defined simply by the size of the capacitance multiplied by the resistance. It's pretty amazing that this quantity of capacitance multiplied by resistance actually gives us time. Let's explore this a little bit further. Typically, you're going to see the uh, time constant written with this curly T. And let's say that this is equal to C multiplied by R. Now, because Q is equal to CV, that means that C is going to be the amount of charge divided by the voltage. Then let's multiply that by R. And we can simplify this even further by saying that the charge is equal to IT. So what we get is I times T divided by, rather than V, I'm going to use Ohm's law. And I'm going to write IR multiplied by R. Now we're going to see that we can get quite a bit of cancellations. So uh, let's just be consistent with the way we write our I's. And let's cancel some quantities out so the eyes can go and so do, do the resistances and we can see that essentially this quantity c times r actually has the units of time seconds and uh, it is a quantity of, uh, of it is time now what happens to let's say the voltage when the time is equal to the time constant. We've defined time constant as C times R. Now, because this is just a moment in time, value of time, uh, let's have a look at our, uh, our capacity discharge equation. If you're a little bit unsure where this equation is coming from, please have a look at my capacitor discharge video. So what we're going to do is set T is equal to CR. Now, this equation will now suddenly become V is equal to V naught e to the minus CR divided by CR. Let's write that again, like so. As you can guess, those CRs are going to cancel out. And what we are going to be left with is V is equal to V naught e to the power of minus 1. If we put e to the power of minus 1, remember, e is just a number, 2.718, etc, etc, it's an irrational number, and we can raise that to a power of minus 1 with our calculator, uh, up to two significant figures, we're going to get 0 0.37. So the voltage will be 0 0.37 times the original voltage. Notice that this is 37% of the original voltage. So at the time t is equal to the time constant, the voltage will drop to 37% of its initial value. Let's apply what we have learned so far to a past paper question. We have a capacitor of capacitance 500 microfarads is charged up to 6 volts, and then it's discharged by a student by placing her thumb and first finger across the terminals 
of the capacitors. We have a graph of voltage against time. This is quite a typical past paper question, so we need to make sure that uh, we go through this one carefully. Use the figure, use the voltage against time graph to calculate the resistance across the terminals of the capacitor. Well, first of all, if we have a V against T graph, we can actually work out the time constant of this capacitor. Remember that at time is equal to a time constant, the voltage falls to 37% of its initial value. Now, our initial voltage is 6 volts, as we can see right here. So what I'm going to do is just calculate 37% of 6 volts. And uh, this is so 0.37 multiplied by 6. And that's going to give us 2.2 volts. Now, the time at which we hit 2.2 volts is just here, which we can see corresponds to 60 seconds. Just here, actually, like so. So that means that our time constant is going to be 60 seconds because this is the time at which the voltage falls down to 2.2 volts. Now, all we need to do is use the equation that our time constant is equal to CR. And then we can just rearrange for the resistance. So the resistance will be our time constant divided by the capacitance, which will be 60 divided by 500 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6. And if we were to put this into a scientific calculator, what we're going to get is 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the 5 ohms. Okay, folks, so hopefully this question and the time constant in general makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below and please consider subscribing.